Back in 2000, we at KBI Global Investors recognised that significant multi-decade challenges lay ahead, driven by rapidly growing demand for three of the key natural resources on the planet, water, food and clean energy. This raised many questions, not least, how could our planet support another 2 billion people by 2030? So these problems must be solved and not to act isn't an option. So at KBI, we seek, we have found, and we invest in a range of companies that provide solutions to these problems. And we call those solutions providers. We are very much focused on natural resources and the end markets in particular of agribusiness, water and clean energy. And what we look for is solutions to alleviate shortages in each of those areas. And in particular, have a positive impact on society and the environment. Engagement is a key responsibility of investors. We have a duty on behalf of the, our, our clients, the people who invest with us, to make sure that the companies in which we invest are performing adequately when it comes to environmental, social and governance factors. It's a key part of the investment process in many ways. We are invested in companies such as renewable energy companies, investing in the areas of wind and solar markets, as well as companies in the water infrastructure area, providing the much needed water infrastructure that we require for the future, as well as companies on the agribusiness side that are providing technological solutions that will help both improve yield and crop output into the future. When we think about what's driving investment in wind and solar, we think about firstly policy and secondly technology. On the area of policy, governments and policy makers are increasingly looking at ways to promote investment in clean energy because of worries about rising CO2 emissions and also as ways to promote energy independence. Secondly, on the area of technology, we've seen major advances over the last 10 years. Wind turbine prices have fallen 50, over 50% and solar panel prices have fallen over 85% over the last 10 years. So this dramatic decline in the cost curve um, has resulted in rapid growth and adoption for both technologies to such an extent that today, wind and solar are the cheapest form of electricity in many regions across the globe. Today we are very excited about the prospects of renewable energy. Take for example the wind industry. Today only 5% of global electricity production is sourced from wind. Bloomberg New Energy Finance estimates that this will grow to 26% by 2050. This is very significant growth. When people think about water quality, they may think about increasing access to clean water. But we're seeing growing momentum at the moment behind improving the quality of that water. Emerging markets uh, such as China, the public water is not safe to drink and the government have now mandated improvements in that water. In developed markets such as the US, uh, high profile pollution issues such as Flint, Michigan have again increased momentum behind investments in water quality. We're accessing this opportunity at the moment in the portfolio through both the water utility and the water technology segments. The water utility segment, uh, we're seeing utilities are in a higher rate of return by improving the quality of the water that they're providing. But much more exciting is in the water technology space, where our companies are providing equipment and services to eliminate emerging contaminants. We're looking for solutions providers to alleviate what is a shortage of food around the globe. So we're looking for anybody that can increase the supply of food, reduce demand, or in some way seek to reduce waste across the whole agribusiness supply chain. We really like the area of precision agriculture. It's been very well documented that the world's population is gonna expand by well over two billion people out to 2050. Food demand is actually gonna grow even faster. We're talking about 70% increase because we've had massive increases in the middle classes and urbanization, and they both consume disproportionately larger amounts of food. The problem that we have, however, is that the amount of arable land per person for that food growth is dwindling and falling rapidly, and will continue to do so. So we have to increase crop production from that available land. Precision agriculture brings together advanced technologies, such as self-steering tractors and big data, such as precise, field and soil mapping in order to dramatically increase food production. It enables the efficient application of resources such as water, crop protection chemicals, fertilizers and seeds, minimizing costs and maximizing production. 
We access the theme of precision agriculture in the Global Resource Solution Portfolio through the likes of Trimble and Deer in North America and Origin Enterprises in Europe. In conclusion, the KBI Global Resource Strategy brings new sources of alpha to a portfolio through an investment that also aligns with the sustainability values that we are increasingly seeing coming through our portfolio of clients. The strategy invests in those companies that are providing sustainable solutions to the greatest resource challenges of our time.